Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to make these awesome looking speaker cabinets. This project needs a router. Some router kind of cutting jig. I just used a nail for my center point. And I'm sure you can do better than this flimsy thing. Also a tape measure, got a measure, some glue, some nails, some sandpaper, and a brushy brush, and totally optional, positive attitude. And also, I forgot to mention, a couple sheets of plywood. Maybe three sheets of plywood. I just started by ripping down the big sheets of plywood into the final width. I was using fairly cheap plywood and it was bowing and getting cut in the outfeed table. But if you want to spend the extra bucks and get some real nice plywood, that'll save you all the hassle. Once all my widths were cut from the table saw, I went to the miter saw to cut the final lengths off the, you know, boards. After I finished cutting all my pieces, I laid them all out. For assembling, I found the center where I was going to cut out my circles where the speakers were going to go. And now I'm going to shut up a bit because this is my first voiceover. Once my boxes were all assembled, I got ready to cut out the circle. Now, in hindsight, it might be safer to cut out the circle before assembling the box. And I was taking a fairly deep cut with the router, which was giving a lot of unnecessary strain. But I was impatient and I had four of these to do. Then went over all the front faces and smoothed out the edges with a round over bit. Now this part is completely optional, but this uh, order demanded it that the back panel was removable. And so I had to do a sort of sliding drawer mechanism so the client could access the speakers from behind at any time. last technical bit is to just drill a simple finger hole to be able to slide out of the panel whenever you need to. I then 
spent a fair amount of time filling all the holes and cracks and evening everything out with some wood filler. I then did the finishing sanding on all the edges and surfaces, getting it ready for painting. water-based paint. It's the cheapest I could find in the store, but it really gets the job done. For this particular project, I did three coats with sanding between each. Hey, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and check out the other stuff.